In our previous video, I challenged us to tell our stories, particularly the stories of what God has done in our lives to deliver us out of sin. And today I want to point you to someone in the scriptures who did this and did this very well and did this with a sense of urgency. And so she becomes the unlikely evangelist. This is drawn from the gospel according to John, John chapter 4, and we read of Jesus and the Samaritan woman. It's a great passage. I would encourage you to go and uh, read the verses. Uh, I want to highlight at the tail end of this story what happens in the village where this woman is from. She's not named. She's anonymous. We do not know uh, much about her save for, uh, save for her checkered past. And what we see in verse 39 is that many Samaritans from that town believed in him, believed in Jesus because of what the woman said when she testified. He told me everything I ever did. Listen to that, friends. Many Samaritans from that town believed in Jesus because of the woman. And what did she say? She told them, she told her village mates, he told me everything I ever did. And so in verse 40, it goes on to say, So when the Samaritans came to him, they asked him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. Verse 41, Many more believed because of what he said. And they told the woman, We no longer believe because of what you said, since we have heard for ourselves, and know that this really is the Savior of the world. What a great passage and picture of evangelism and its power the impact of a woman's witness. A woman who in our day and age wouldn't have been a ministry worker, she wouldn't, uh, it's highly unlikely that she would have been in any church ministry because of her checkered past. This is a woman who had been with many, many men. This is a woman who was living in a highly patriarchal society. So by virtue of being a woman with that kind of scandalous past, she lost credibility in the eyes of many people. Yet when she met Jesus and when she was emboldened by, by Jesus Christ and by how he was able to satisfy her heart's deepest longings, this woman became liberated and she told her story. And I wonder whether you have experienced that liberation and whether you have experienced that kind of uh, deep satisfaction or that, that, that satisfaction of your deepest longings that can only be found in Christ. And I wonder if you have gone a step ahead to tell others of what the Lord has done in your life. The Bible tells us that many Samaritans in that village believed on account of her witness. Oh, that there would be many who would rise up and be digital evangelists. And part of it could be you passing this video to someone else, challenging them like this woman to tell their story, challenging them to tell their story in the digital space, on Twitter, on IG, on Facebook, to tell their story in WhatsApp, to go a step further, tell their story in the neighborhood, in their space of work, to tell the story of what the Lord has done. And you know what, when we tie our stories to the Lord's big story of salvation, what happens is that there will be impact. God will draw people through our story into his story. I hope I haven't lost you there. I'm saying when we tell people about our story and we tie it to God's story of salvation, what God will do is he will draw others in. He will draw them in into his story of salvation and they will see and they will believe and they will be saved. And I pray that especially in this evangelism focus, our time, that you and I will go ahead and will tell it on the mountains, over the hills and everywhere that Jesus Christ is Lord and how he has shown that Lordship in your life, in your situation. God bless you. Thanks for watching. This is Sitam Church Online.